curious George learns to count from one to fifty. This is George. George was a good old monkey and always very curious. This morning, George was curious about numbers. His friend, the man with the yellow hat, had been teaching him to count. Already, George could count to five on one hand and ten on his two feet. Good job, George," said his friend. "But you can count more than your fingers and toes. We're going into town today. I bet you can find lots of things to count along the way." The number fifty sounded like a lot to George. He was curious. Could he find fifty things to count? First, George counted his bed, one. Then he counted two blankets. He tossed his pillows and counted one, two, three. He counted four legs on his bed and five paw toys. What else could George count? Why, there were lots of things in the toy box. There were six toy boats, seven cars, eight trucks, nine stuffed animals. And ten balls. George followed one bouncing ball into his friend's room. The man with the yellow hat was getting dressed. George wanted to dress up too. He saw eleven hats to choose from. Twelve ties, thirteen socks, and fourteen shoes. In the bathroom, George's friend had just finished brushing his teeth. "I'm going to make breakfast, George," he said. But George was still busy counting. He counted fifteen blue tiles, sixteen rubber ducks, and seventeen shower rings. It was fun to count upside down. Then George drew a surprise for his friend: eighteen toothpaste pictures. In the kitchen, George found more things to count. He stacked up nineteen plates, twenty bowls, and twenty-one cups. He arranged twenty-two straws, twenty-three napkins, and twenty-four spoons. Then George counted out twenty-five blueberries. Don't forget to count our pancakes, the man said. George counted while his friend flipped twenty-six. When George was full and his plate was empty, he was ready to count outside. In the backyard, George counted twenty-seven clouds floating by, and twenty-eight apples on a tree. There was lots to do outside. George played with twenty-nine bugs and gathered thirty acorns. He found thirty-one snails and arranged thirty-two sticks to create a design. Then George smelled the daisies and he picked thirty-three. In his front yard, George counted thirty-four noisy birds and thirty-five leaves blowing in the air. There was something else in the air. A gust of wind scattered thirty-six letters with colorful stamps. George counted as he helped pick them up. It's time to go into town, George," his friend said. "Do you remember how to walk there? You can lead the way." George, curious as ever, took the long way from his house to town. As he walked, he counted thirty-seven houses, thirty chimneys, and thirty-nine trees. Can you follow George's path through his neighborhood? In town, George and his friend saw workers fixing up a building. There was a very tall ladder, and George could not resist. He scampered up forty rungs past forty-one windows. What a view! From up on top of the ladder, George counted forty-two people. One of them was his friend Betsy. Hi, George. Betsy said when he climbed out to see her. Your friend told me you're learning to count. Then George walked Betsy to her school. Inside, she asks him. There are lots of things to count in here. Betsy was right. There were plenty of things to count in her classroom. While George's friend talked to the teacher, George counted forty-three sparkly beads, forty-four jars of paste, and forty-five crayons. On the table, forty-six colorful feathers were laid out. George was curious. What were they for? Betsy's classmates were making hats and decoration for a special celebration. George wanted to make decorations too. In fact, he turned himself into a decoration. Then George's new friends cleaned off forty-seven color stripes of paper and a lot of glue. George is coming all the way to fifty.
Betsy said. Susan said, We can help. How about counting paper clips? She and her sister Sarah helped George find 48. A moment later, the bell rang and everyone was on the move. George counted 49 wheels. Then it was time for him to go home too. George ran and ran. He ran 50 steps all the way back to the man with the yellow hat. His friend was so happy to see him. You did it, George, his friend said proudly. You used your own two feet to count all the way up to 50.